Hey, this is Charlie Seen from Hollywood Undead, and you are watching Metal Shop TV. I think about home, like where I was born. Um, with what we did with with the album, wasn't really like political or anything like that. It's just like what we see when when we are home these days. A lot of us moved out of California and live other places just because California is a little bit of a mess. For, for now, it sucks. <laughs> There's two. I smoked this weed that I've never smoked before and it was like the best weed I've ever smoked and I was laying in bed and two songs like came in my head and two of those songs made the album. It's uh, Lion Eyes and uh, Happy When I Die. Like that never happens. Like that's never happened to me in my life. So smoke weed. We worked with a, a producer for the first time named Drew Folk, and he's really, he's like the most talented producer I've ever worked with, I feel like, and his, just the way he thinks of music is just different from any producer we've had, and he, he if we made a party song these days, we want it to be kind of gritty, I guess. We can't really talk about, you know, fucking chicks and shit anymore, you know? So we, uh, it's more the dark side of the partying that we talk about these days, so that's what that song is. Um, I don't listen to anything new. Like, I really don't. I, I, I listen to uh, classic rock and shit. So I, I don't get influence from like new music whatsoever. So I would say happy music, I guess, is what I listen to mostly. Beatles, Tom Petty, yeah. I think it does just because I feel like if I was listening to new music, it would influence the way I, I write music. And I like being in, influenced by the old classic music instead of the contemporary stuff. Yeah, it's pretty natural. I, I, there were albums in the past where people were like, no, there's too many party songs or there's not enough party songs. So we try, I'm usually in charge of the party songs. So um, I always try to throw, a, you know, we have a, a good mix of both. I think it's important because some people like just the party songs, some people like just the serious songs. So it's good to cater to both audiences, I guess. Um, I think it does come with age. You have different problems the older you get, and you only I, we only talk about what we're experiencing in that moment. So the shit I was talking about when I was 23, is, you know, is nothing like what I talk about now at um, 39. <laughs> uh, working with Jelly Roll was a lot of fun. That was fun as hell. Our managers. Uh, just set up a meeting with him. I guess they, they talked to his manager because uh, he lives in Nashville where I live with Johnny Three Tears and he set up a meeting and we were just talking and we we're both kind of like, what the fuck are we meeting about? Like we didn't know what the point was. <laughs> he didn't either, but he's like, well, hopefully we get to make some fucking music. So um, we ordered some cocaine and wrote two songs and we were up till six in the morning that night. We got two songs. So the other one, it hasn't been released yet, but that one I think is even better than House of Mirrors. Yeah, 100%. Even like the buses are, are double what we used to pay. Gas prices are up. The inflation is just uh, fucking insane. So it really does suck because we are making, I guess our guarantees are the biggest we, they've ever been, but we're not taking home the most money we've ever been because our expenses are so fucking high. And also managers and uh, lawyers and everyone, they take the money off the top too. So by the time we get home, we make like very little money. So it's very frustrating. Um, it makes us want to fire our managers. They're here today. We, we might do it today. <laughs> Uh, 
Um, it just has to make sense financially, you know. Um, but it, it's definitely worth it. You you have to come here and you have to keep coming here because or else you know you might get forgotten about or something. Plus, we love coming here. I, I enjoy touring here. It's awesome to see all the places and the fans are a lot more fun than in in the states. Really? Yeah, yeah, they really are. They go like fucking insane. I mean, the, the crowds in the U.S. are great, too. I have nothing against them, but just the people, it seems like the people out here aren't afraid of, like, looking silly or looking cool. They're just fucking there having a good time and being free, you know? It's cool. Yeah, I think it's going to be something in the past, but we'll always incorporate them in some way. Like, we'll put them on T-shirts or we were thinking about selling them at merch. So I don't know about wearing them, but probably not. Oh, Danny and our band shat his pants on stage one time. It was his first show without drinking, so he was really nervous because he was decided to quit, and then he shat his pants on stage. Uh, oh, my parents' names. My dad and my mom, Jack and Jane. We were just talking about this uh, the other day. I think, I don't know what the fuck I'd be doing. Probably bartending or some shit and playing in a cover band like I used to do before Hollywood Undead. And I'd be broke.